Oh, yes. Yo, right now, niggas from Cali are taking over basketball. <laughs> Florida niggas got football, but right now, Cali is taking over basketball. I know you don't watch a lot of basketball, but basketball, I'm going to tell you. Oh, I know about this. I don't know if you ever heard of this guy named Damian Lillard. I don't see it. This yeah. from Oakland. Shout out Oakland. Oh, shout out Marshawn hey, Shout Lynch. out Cali in general. For real. <laughs> um... He plays point guard for the uh, for the uh, Portland Trailblazers, and he's in a series against Russell Westbrook, mm. the craziest nigga on the basketball court to this day. Yeah, mm-hmm. this crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he's from Cali too. You know, he, he, cra- he crazier than Gilbert Arenas. Gilbert Arenas is hilarious. <laughs> he's know, not crazy. He, he's yo, hilarious. There's a difference. Russell Rest- Russell Westbrook or, definitely crazy. Did this nigga called a reporter a nigga? Remember, yeah, nigga, he was like, "Nigga, what did you just say to me?" <laughs> Wait, like, come on, bro. And he walked out and said, "Y'all niggas tripping." Yeah, walked y'all out the interview. Nah. <laughs> he just walked out. No, he, he's insane. He yeah. insane. <laughs> I don't think I called the right name. The nigga that changed his name to Meta World Peace. No, 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 no. He's nah, violent. There's, di- there's there's levels to this thing. You can be crazy and not be violent. You can be violent and not be crazy. I feel nah, like Meta World Peace. Ron you know Artest. Ron Artest. Ron Artest. That's his name. Something ain't right. Wow. Yeah. He no, because it's just it's it's off. I don't know, and I feel like they made Kawhi Leonard in a in a in a lab, just off his, <laughs> just off his interview. He can palm your like yeah your head. for real. He's I know. Like, <laughs> I feel like on like on game night they they press a button and, and like, he just and he just activates. Word, you, you hear <laughs> steam comes out and he walks out of a canister and he plays ball. And like when know? he sits on the bench, a charger plugs into his back <laughs> so he can charge back up. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> and he goes, ready, coach <laughs> Leonard, ready to play basketball. <laughs> But um, warm um, up sound like hu- sounding like a human. Okay, I'm ready to. Go. So <laughs> Westbrook and Lillard um just had this rivalry for the longest. Mm-hmm. True. Um, the other year they was playing in a uh, playoff series, and Russell Westbrook, while Lillard's at the line, he was like, "I've been busting your ass for years." Like he just straight up said it to him. Lillard said something to him. So this was a revenge tour for Damian Lillard. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm not even gonna give you the whole series. Final game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's 3-1 in Portland. Portland's mm. up 3-1. If they win this game, they win the series. Mm. It's about eight seconds left. Mm. Damian Lillard's bringing the ball up. Paul George is covering him. Remember, 3-1 in his hometown. Every If you're sitting down in Portland, it means you can't stand up. <laughs> that was the only people not standing in that stadium. Yeah, word. This nigga pulled up from 30... Maybe 37 feet. Word. From the logo. They don't call him that's Logo Lilla for nothing. No. <laughs> he drained it at the buzzer uh. to win the fucking series. Word. Mm. Did he jump up? Did he celebrate? Did he he didn't crack a smile? Word, yeah. He looked at it, he went for he the ball. He got tackled. He was like, you get these niggas he off. He was me. waiting for the ball to go in. He said, All right, I made it. Then he turned to the other bench and started waving at them niggas like, see y'all later. No. Yo, and he didn't man. smile. I don't think he's smiling Yo. now. No. <laughs> cold no, he too blooded. Cold. Cold blooded, cold. <laughs> and, and he could rap too. Stop yeah, it. Dame Dollar. I never you ain't heard hear him rap. Him. Uh, oh, I'm not too much. No, for bro, Dame, no, no, oh, no, no, no. He came on. Know. He went on Sway Show and killed his freestyle. Oh, dog. I did see that. Like, right, I trust he's you. not a basketball player. He's a rapper. <laughs> I trust you. When that I trust boy, your taste. So, when okay. that boy rapping. He's, he's a ra- not a basketball player, he's a rapper bro. Trust that plays me, he's, basketball. A, he's just a, a nigga that rap. He's his a rapper ass with off. a jump shot. Nah, that nigga rap his ass off. He man. listened to Biggie. Two I give times him props. Over. I give him props. No, he's legitimately a lyricist. He don't play. He listened to Biggie. His cadence, his flow, his wordplay, his choice of words. Oh, he's 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 an excellent rapper. I say. All right, I'll give it a word. Yo, he's I'll give it a beast. listen. So that's why I was beast. I was wondering like I kept saying Dame Dame like all over Twitter. So <laughs> that explains that. No, that shit was cold well, blooded though. Cold blooded. He's so plain face. Uh, all the all the memes going around. Everybody for real from the bench hugging him and jumping on him, and he still got that same plain ass face like. like like he's looking into your soul. Word. Like yeah. you know I was gonna. Yeah. But you, but you know on the inside he like. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> he's like he I got right home and like threw his sofa. Or Word. Shit. He's like you, like you know how many sweats he broke trying to not smile. <laughs> <laughs> he was like <laughs> in his mind he was like play it cool, Damon. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga could walk cool. into any strip club in Portland. Oh yeah. And just look at a bitch. It's <laughs> just like. like with that same look. Oh, so you're going to sing that three With minutes? that same look. <laughs> oh, you that basketball nigga. <laughs> 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 
They, oh, man. They literally in the building. The asses started clapping from the party. <laughs> <laughs> but but hey, anyway. Yo, to bring it back in, what's up? It's your boys with your favorite motherfucking podcast. Mm-hmm. You Wait, know it's what? your we mom's can... favorite podcast. And yours. That too. And your cousin too. And hey. your mama, sister, daddy, uncle. And you know what? We coming off the heels of our 100th episode. Who insert a hey. uh, uh, clap track here? <laughs> clap track. That sounds like clap a... Clap track. That sounds like a point. I'm sorry. <laughs> it actually sounds like a... Some, Who, who's over there like, nah. That sounds like an <laughs> STD medication. Fuck you. <laughs> Bro, so choose clap track. Clap track. <laughs> so you can clap. track that clap. <laughs> Yo, you can make a clap track. Clap track. Yeah, that's how you apply it. You just clap track. Yeah. Burn into a clap clap. If you get burnt, get clap track by Johnson and Johnson. Are right, you gonna have to block that out? They patent pending. Patent pending. Exactly. Patent pending. Not paying us. Yeah. <laughs> but before we by, go any further, by, yo, by Jackson and Jackson. Yeah, before, <laughs> Jackson and Jackson. Before we go off into Campbell another, and Campbell. <laughs> before we go off into another TPSG wild ass tangent. You know, it's your boys. We are gonna start it from the left, my left. Oh, Jesus. You know, I got a lot of AKs. I got to stretch. No, I'm mm. kidding. It's dramatic, <laughs> aka Wave Chappelle, aka <laughs> Wavy McGrady, aka Black Galifianakis, aka. Mm. Dang. Oh, yeah. I thought I had one. <laughs> A.K.A. So you. Say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. Oh, my God. Say what you... Okay, we ain't going to do it to you right now, because you know it's your boy, I Seen Black, A.K.A. Black Dynamite, A.K.A. Wade Bixby, A.K.A. Holy Pocaroaches, Holy A.K.A. Holy. Shabby Ranks, A.K.A. I can't remember all my A.K.A.'s, A.K.A. You could always bet on black, A.K.A. Swiss... Arm and nigga, Swiss arm and nigga, Swiss arm and nigga, Swiss arm and nigga. Yo, we gonna make that a theme song. Yo, my carry nigga. that note, nigga. Theme hey. song. You knew nigga. It. <laughs> That's for all our ancestors. Nigga. <laughs> yeah, my, my voice too deep, I can't go there. <laughs> my voice deeper than yours. I got range. This, oh, so I got no range. Sorry. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you so, ain't got no range. So this is. <laughs> hey, I no never claimed to sing. This nigga, check my resume. This nigga ain't got no not bandwidth. On he ain't got no range. <laughs> <laughs> I got reach though. <laughs> he probably ain't got no blue teeth. And but this is Flocka Zulu. <laughs> <laughs> this is Flocka Zulu, aka Sir Black Style in the Third, aka Pablo Escovich, aka <laughs> Nigga Demas, aka No More, aka Stop the Violence. Bro, bro, bro. Oh. You gotta, you can't use the nigga D.U. said anymore. I just, I just realized the name of the Bible that you're imitating. Yo, yeah, you didn't. Yeah, I Nicod- didn't know that. Oh, I'm we're comfortable. Nicodemus. Oh, yeah. yeah Nicod- Nicodemus was black. Yeah. But was he a nigga? Yes. And that's gonna go into he, our next He would have been called one if he <laughs> lived at these times. For real. Girl. You don't know Jesus, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I know Jesus. I know Jesus. <laughs> Jesus used to sit on the front porch <laughs> eating peanuts. <laughs> wow. You know, you know it's crazy. Talking about some random ass we, shit. You, you know it's crazy. Like that's a big stereotype for um old black people. What? Mm-hmm. That they they talk like this and they stay on the porch. Oh, cigarettes. I was just doing Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> no, he's he's drawn from that. Wait, wait. Yeah. yeah. We'll, He's drawn from that stereotype, we'll, that stereotypical sun-kissed, leathery word. skin old black so, person we're over sun there. By, kissed <laughs> on by leather, by you. yo, skin <laughs> looks so thick. Oh my god! <laughs> like when they take a picture on the magazine, be like, oh, I didn't use flash. That's, <laughs> it's like that. Yeah, that's that's the problem. They use flash. But speaking <laughs> of what we wanted to talk about this evening, this was fine stuff, evening, this fine evening, gotta, is stuff that we do. Mm-hmm. That oh, shit we like. Shit we like that stereotypically we're not supposed to. Upon the eyes of society. Oh, yeah, in the and eyes of society. That's yeah, why you gotta say woof. And, 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 you know, and if like, you ain't understand and even, and even like cause it's all of us, you know what I mean? It's the stuff that you say you say out loud that you like and people are you're into that. You like you yeah, right? But what are some things that y'all are into that you know? <laughs> That people don't expect me to be into because of my skin tone. Word, because your skin cut. Even no, though I can't tell, a white man. On the real, I don't man. know what I am sometimes, because mm. or what people perceive me as. But I'll go based off of when people think I'm black, and, <laughs> and then when people think I'm Middle Eastern. 
Word. So we'll first oh, start, which I have none worst. of that in my blood. Word. But so when people realize that I'm mostly black, <laughs> <laughs> mostly they look <laughs> ever so surprised if you know, say a coworker happens to have a Harry Potter book mm. in the office. <laughs> I'll be like, oh shit, nigga, you read Harry Potter too? <laughs> word, word, word. <laughs> All right, no. no, like the fact that you read catch people off guard. Which yeah, I read, yeah. and, and to give y'all the Is real, I remember when Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince, the book, came out, and I was in high school, and I showed up to Barnes, uh, not Barnes Noble, Borders Book back, uh, a store called Borders Bookstores, RIP, my nigga, Borders yeah, Bookstores. Borders. The best bookstore that ever existed that somehow died before Barnes and Noble. But <laughs> anyway, right. that's crazy um, to think about. I pre ordered my Half Blood Prince copy. That's the sixth book of Harry Potter for y'all niggas that don't know. And I showed up to the store at midnight in my. Jordan flip flops, my Jordan shorts, is, <laughs> and my Jordan shirt with some long ass church socks, and I had braids back then. You know, I had a hang time too, my nigga. Word. But yeah, this nigga look and like I promise, Word. I walked into that Borders bookstore, and I was like, I swore that I was in the wrong place for a second. Mm. Cause real deal, I ain't realized how much people really dress up for that shit. Cause like I never pre-ordered the book before. I was hooked on the books. Yeah. But I never pre-ordered the book. I was like, I'm gonna pre-order it. I'm oh, a real motherfucker. So you can't fan. you stepped in it, <laughs> it was nothing but wizards and shit. Bro, I the first person I saw when I walked in had a scar and permanent marker on their head <laughs> drawn on. And I was just wow. like, and I immediately started judging everybody. Yeah. <laughs> like the nigga who reads Harry Potter. You look at that much? <laughs> look at this I, I walk in there like I'm the Cool one. <laughs> when if I went into my normal spot at school, they would have been. I would have been ridiculed for that shit. Right. Yeah. But when I walked in there, I was just like, "Wow, these niggas so weird." Right. <laughs> right. Like I'm just trying to get my book at midnight so I can start reading it and I sleep like everybody else. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm obsessed to know what J.K. Rowling said next about the young wizard, and um, so that's one thing that um, I'd say people are surprised about. You know, odd which is a choice shame, of media. Though. It's yeah. a shame. Cause maybe I, not so much now. Word. I, mm. I mean, I, I had the same experience growing up. Please. I remember because I, uh, <laughs> when you talk about like her, I've 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 read countless series mm. of books. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, like some of them, like I'll be waiting. Like their books, I've waited for years. To <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you serious? You were years, than me. bro. Like them. Um, Aragon books. Oh, I remember those. Yeah. Oh yeah, I used to. See I heard those. the movie was eh. The movie was shit. <laughs> <laughs> but the books, bro, bet like to this day. It's always like that. To this day, yeah. Best best series I've read so far. Really? To this day, yeah. You ever heard of Pen Dragon? Yes. Okay, I, I started reading those too. Hey, yeah. we gonna talk off camera. Word, nigga. word. <laughs> word. I'm on. I'm on my black literature now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For real. yeah Gotta get on that. I I feel ashamed to not remember the names of these authors, but I have a couple books that I started on too. Word, word. Mm. We didn't yeah, we didn't expect it to 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 shift over here. So we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll forget. So we're gonna it. keep talking about stuff that they don't expect us black <laughs> people to talk about. Word. Hey, what what's what's oh, what's one some... <laughs> 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 the one thing the and this is recent. I got hooked onto Formula One. Word. Oh, Formula boy. One racing. racing. Yes. Okay. Your MAGA hat is in the mail. <laughs> oh no, not NAS- your- that's not not NASCAR. For those of y'all, your who don't MAGA know hat. Formula no, 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 you're wrong. In the mail. First no. of all, you're wrong. Whole different audience. So, should we explain what Formula One is so for first people of like all, this guy? Yeah, I'm all ears. First of all, Formula One. <laughs> I would, I would say a lot of Formula One fans look down <laughs> on NASCAR. On oh, there, right? Because n- I'm not comparing it to NASCAR. Ma- mainly because, you know, just because you said manga, but dog. <laughs> First Marga. of all, what, what got me into it was um Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton, right? Who that? Um, he's a Formula One driver. Okay. Um, black. Um, he's Word. a. I believe he's the first um black Formula One champion, or I feel I think he's the first black driver. Shout out Lewis. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Black excellence because wow. it's like the sport. It's a. It's a. It's a super like. Upper crust sport to get into, you know what I'm saying? You need to have a lot of finances and backing Uh, to become good. Word at Formula One racing. Word. So I would, I would definitely recommend looking up his story. Like his, his pops like worked like multiple jobs. He was his mechanic for his go kart growing up, and like kind of like. So he just loved driving. Yeah, and And that's how he got into it. Word. That good. Word. And speaking of what we're talking about. He kind of broke through because he, when he first, like, he talked mm. about being a kid and stepping out in the races, and they, 
people looking at him crazy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And now he's he's a he's a world champion four times over. That's amazing. Damn. Yeah. That's, that's inspiring. You know, yeah. That's crazy. I, I and that's cra- what's crazy about four. Sorry to cut you nah, off. No, no, no. That's cool. The, cool. The, the 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 it's so limited in the amount of space. Mm-hmm. Right. There, there are ten teams. Each team has two drivers. So in the in the entire sport, there's twenty seats. That's so it's, crazy. It's it, you know what I'm saying, right? And he happens to hold like the co- most coveted seat. Um, he he drives for a Mercedes. Oh, oh. Or, so the top. Their oh. their their cars are beastly. Yeah, if word, you play word. that Gran Turismo, PS4 shout out. Word. <laughs> <laughs> they pay us for the least. Word. So it's crazy, dog. Like half the sport is engineering. Like it's it's not even mm-hmm. like, because what I thought was like you know. Everybody kind of has the same car, more or less. Yeah, not the, it, not it. Bro. You, That's you, what you tune your like car. From the yeah. You have your in. shop. Yeah, your team. They get y'all come up with y'all little ideas to enhance your the power in your vehicle, or your motor. They they get regulations for for how the car is supposed to be function wise and how it's supposed to look and safety shit. Other than that, you build a car, bro. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? That sound like a fucking. That sound like at the crib, really. Word. <laughs> yeah. Some dope shit. It's That's some dope. dope shit, dog. So I'm That's thinking, dope. dog, like all types of, like, uh, like on on each on each team, there's like thousands of people, or hundred Word. between hundreds of thousands, depending on how big the team is. Okay. There's mechanics, engineers, um, media people. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, That's yo. very interesting. Yeah. So That'd I'm like, yo, normal. imagine black people. Like, and Formula One ain't no joke. Like black people can drive, y'all. Yeah, like yeah. Formula One is not no NASCAR. I'm a driver on the track. It's twisting and turning, sharp, yeah, tight, right tight turns, tight, tight turns. At over, you got to go on the board. On the I don't know, I'm using the wrong turns. Yeah, over 200 miles an Wait, hour, dog. Yeah, the and fastest. That's crazy, dog. Yeah, and they stop on a dime, dog. On a dime, bro. Them they stop. Shits, even their take wind off is off different. The amount of G yeah, force just, you, you don't. Yeah. Say, you don't say NASCAR is more broad, but this is more sharp. It's just your word. Yep. Those are those cars that you know Lamborghinis and Ferraris model themselves after. Or basically, yeah. it's I've been to a Formula One shop before, a Porsche shop. Yeah, that shit was crazy. I was like twelve though. Yeah, in Orlando. How loud was it? Crazy. That it was too loud. <laughs> I, was, I was sitting there like this, bro. Right. And I, mean, I just wasn't used to it, man. Like, you right. know, thousand plus house power, horsepower cars Got on the regular in there, yep. just testing shit out. Like, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And, like, my uncle brought me there just to kind of, like, show it off because it was his homie's shop. Mm. And I was like, damn, like, this is what y'all do for work? Word, <laughs> word. Like, this is dope. Word. <laughs> I remember when you showed me the video, uh, when uh, the pit stop videos. Mm. The precision bro, that oh, they put into bro, those things, it's two, insane. Two Literally, seconds. Literally, two seconds. Like you told me about, it. I was like, no, you're exaggerating. You've never mm-hmm. seen, you it know, well. you've seen it exaggerated on shows and everything, but I never actually. It's real. <laughs> yeah, it's very real. Word. You know what I'm saying? So they pull up and it's like, it's like it's like this one smooth motion. Like yeah. before you even get that thing is out with the Word. um with, with the, the drill. drill with the with the with the, the screw gun or whatever the, the drill. drill. Or whatever. <laughs> Word. There's two. There's one dude in the front with a jack. One dude in the back with a jack. jack. Um, one dude on each wheel, mm-hmm. and there's a there's another dude like to, with to, like, the, the next gas. with the new wheel, yeah, ready to put the or, new yeah, wheel or on. If they, duh, if they say they racing and they like crash, they break off a piece of, like the front wing. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. They'll take off the front wing, put a and new put one. a new one back yeah, on. Yeah, add like an extra. That's second. how those cars are built, where they can be taken oh, apart yeah. together like where, this. Where, a bunch where, of uh, rip off. Um, Pull and replace. It's like a pull away. It's like yeah. a pull away. Yeah. Pull away. Breakaway suit. <laughs> breakaway. Pull away. Pull away. Yeah, breakaway. Oh, oh, hey. Two million dollar cars at the minimum, dog. Like, oh, that's nuts. that's why the crashes are so insane because mm. one, they're going two hundred miles an hour, yeah. and then they're so light. Like mm. I've never seen a Formula One um, car crash that doesn't involve me seeing the bottom of that car. Yeah, in the air. Yeah. And what's crazy, all of them see, nowadays to how they're built, like. They be just walking away from them shit, bro. Yeah. Like when you see the crash and they like, just get out. Like, yeah. And yeah. They, that's but, awesome though. But can you imagine like cause I just thought about this. Like I guess the psychology of like a racing sport. Imagine crashing, especially going that fast. Cause you know, if we get into an accident, the next day you kinda wear to the back shake. of the wheel. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. So yeah, imagine yeah, crashing yeah. going that fast and then you gotta go right back racing. Right man. back. And you gotta push that car to the limit <laughs> again. Yeah. Again. You know what I'm saying? But that's that, what you that's what you train for. You it know? can't it can't be it can't be easy. So one more little nerd moment before we get off the Formula okay. One topic, okay. because you know, bec- being this is a physics study group, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just, I just a little, little physicsy. Let's get a little, little physicsy. physicsy. So this 
um, blew my mind. So you know how cylinders in a car, right? Mm-hmm. The tube and the cylinder goes up and down mm-hmm. in the tube. So when when you have that tube and a cylinder, um, it's engineered so that there's a little bit of of space. Right. You know that's for safety going right. over the tube, but that that space gives off um, energy. Yeah, pressure. Pressure. So you lose pressure. some some power. Mm-hmm. So like if you have like a cannon and you put something in a cannon and it doesn't fit flush in the cannon. It's not gonna go as far as if it fits flush because you have more it the it's more pressure yeah the surface out. pressure is more concentrated mm-hmm. on the object itself boom it's, except escaping into empty space right absolutely so physics nigga you know what I'm saying so these cars are so <laughs> tight like well engineered to a T that mm-hmm. the cylinders are made with just enough space for it to 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 go up and down in the tube so. They measure it at a certain heat for when it's running, so that means they can't even start the car or start the engine when the when the engine is cold. So they have so to heat the engine up. Yeah, because when separately. Okay. Yeah, because metal. That's crazy. Because when you when you heat metal up, it expands. Yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah. course. You know it'll break saying? the fuck. It'll break the engine. It'll yeah, break the engine. Absolutely. So they got to heat it up so it expands. Uh huh. And then start engine. So and that's like, when it's flush when it expands. Yeah. So oh, because see. of the precise measurements yeah. of the cylindrical tube. No, word, not, word. So, they, so no power yeah. escapes. They get everything. That, yeah. Everything. Hundred percent efficiency. That's, so that's you see, like, crazy. These engines hooked up to like these IV looking. So <laughs> they pump in hot oil to get Yo, the engine hot. Put, that's crazy. And then they start the car, bro. Damn. Precision, though. Precision, that's dog. dope. That's, that's a gem that right game. there. That's Bro. knowledge. Hey, look. It's crazy. Just know that everything is intricate, man. Mm-hmm. Nothing is simple. Word. For Mostly. real. No. Yo, uh, I could uh, talk well, all day, so I let's mean, get I on another get, topic. Oh. No, I'm not oh, going to... I was f- going to get on... Are we still talking about stereotypes? Yeah. I had no... Oh, but you... So, I'm not going to front. Like, when it comes to sports and stuff, I'm the typical black guy. Mm. Football, basketball, um, hometown baseball. I don't care about nobody but the Marlins. Yeah. Um... Hockey, once again, I don't care no, about nobody the but the Panthers. Panthers. Right. Well, the Miami college, Matadors. No, it's not. And you know what I'm saying? It's, and it's football and basketball across all levels. Like, not to be stereotypical, but I'm Jamaican. I can't kick a soccer ball straight. I really, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll embarrass myself. Like, right. I know my lane. You know what I'm saying? So, with me, it was more like the music. Mm. I re- like, I remember several times being like somewhere in deep West Broward mm. where, you know, people around me don't look like me. Right. And I'll be blasting. You know my typical, you know, rap, hip hop, or whatever. Mm. And then sometimes my playlists are, you know, a little quirky. Yeah, so so <laughs> it'll, it'll fuck around and switch to foreigner or something. Mm. It'll probably switch to, um, I don't know, like somebody like Billy Joel or some or Elton or, John. You do listen to a lot of Billy Joel. Like oh, that. I love you Billy like Joel. This. Billy Joel is black inside. Nobody knows. I can't even tell you He's, a Billy Joel song. He, Word. he. <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> sorry. They they call what he does on what he does blue eyed soul. Word. It's basically yeah. like white people's version of Word. of soul music. You know who's like that? Um, dang, what's his name? What you won't do? do oh for yeah, love. Uh, John B. The Cat in the Hat. No, not Bobby, John B. Bobby, Bobby. Um, the Cat in the Hat. That was the name of his album. Ah. I can't believe I forgot his name. I feel terrible. It's right off the top of my head. Oh, oh yeah. um, Bobby, um, Bobby no. Caldwell. Oh, Caldwell. Uh, Bobby Caldwell. Bobby Caldwell. There you Caldwell, go. Yeah. But, no, Bobby Caldwell is another one. Yeah, though. Bobby Caldwell. George Michael. Mm-hmm. George Michael is dope. Um, ah, wh- who else? Who else? Oh, some some newer ones. Sam Smith. Word. Sam Ooh. Smith is another dope Robin one. Thicke? Word, word. No, I like Robin Thicke before. Word. I'd he, say Robin Thicke. You know, went through He's what so he went cool. through. But mm. back to Billy. Before he went, he, even no, no, he been, I just found this out. Even um, what you because Buble? I was, um, Michael Bublé. Michael Bublé. Yeah, yeah but Bublé. Like Bublé is more like, type shit, yeah. right? he's more of a crooner, right? Exactly. Yeah, Bublé is like a, a new age crooner to um, put it. In. No, but um, I was John saying, B. Dog. I didn't listen to a lot of John B. Only the singles. Mm-hmm. Only the singles. But I was in Target and um, I was in Target with my girl and I heard Blurred Lines. I was like. Did, did Robin Thicke just leave after Bird Lines or something? She was like, no, he went through a divorce. And yeah. I'm like, oh, I didn't, didn't know that. Know. <laughs> no, yeah, I didn't he, know like, that he cheated on Paula Pat. No. He no. lost his shit. Went, That's what yeah, I heard. He, yeah, he, I heard he lost his shit. And she didn't take him back. Yeah, yeah something like That's that. That's probably something why he like lost his shit. Yeah. She didn't take him back. But, but um, um, like I said, I would be in Broward <laughs> listening to Billy Joe. And you, you ever see white people turn their necks so quick? Word. What you know who that is? Word. You know the word. I'll be singing it verbatim. Word. You know how ignorant I am. Got my word. window open. Um, um, speakers on forty. Singing you know song. what I'm saying? Singing Billy Joe just driving word. around or so whatever. Yeah, let's hear a lick. Okay, 
I can give you a couple lyrics. But sing it mm. like you in the car, bro. No, I can't do that. Nah, reenact that shit. No, no, no. Let's I see how much you, you know, really fuck with Billy Joel, man. Bro, you know who I was listening to? <laughs> Are you testing my Billy Joel? Yes, I'm testing your Billy Joel. One of my favorite yeah. lyrics from him is this song called Blonde Over Blue. He said, In hell, there's a big hotel where the bar is closed and the windows never open. Right. No phone, so you can't call home. And the TV works, but the clicker is broken. That shit was cold as fuck. So, so like some Joe white guy. Man, no, I'm not sick. Give me some soul. Say. Give me some soul. My dramatic. soul's in my shirt. Soul. Sorry. Oh, that's what you're saying. Sure. But yeah, right. that, that like that's one of the biggest things. And you know when I listen to somebody like Foreigner, like I said, George Michael, Word. Elton John, Word. I surprise people around me. Word. Like people that were like, how do you know this song? They made like, some how good don't music? you know this? Song? They made some good music, dog. Hall of Notes. Word. That's another one. Word. Tears for Fears. Where even even though it's old I bands, Queen, uh, Queen, Metallica, the Anthem Kings. Word. Oh. Wait, what are we getting into now? Random uh, shit. Mu- <laughs> no, no, no. Music. Okay. I was so, typical all right. because in, so in high like, school I was listening to. Mm-hmm. So in, in high school I was listening to stuff like Vampire Weekend. Sorry, bro, I couldn't hold it. I was say, I was listening to heavy metal, bro. I want to say he- that. I mean, <laughs> like every. I was listening to to Slipknot. I was listening to Slipknot weren't. scared me. I was listening to Under Oath. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Was, but then what, what was Michael cra- McDonald's another one. Somebody. What was crazy? With, yeah, what was Michael crazy McDonald's. with me? Like, Shit, I don't know Michael McDonald. That's I would, terrible. If you listen to my like my iPod or my CD player, yeah. I'll have Slipknot, and then that will go into some little scrappy. Yo, and that will go into some. Um, Rage Against the Machine. Rage Against Yo. the Machine. That will go against some. Um, dang, I'm I'm forgting the 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 the, the groups though. But Yo, I've definitely, Avenged Sevenfold. I've definitely had my shit on shuffle back when I had Spotify. <laughs> and oh, excuse me. You know, it'll go from like, you know, at that time what it was Pusha T, my name was my name, and then switch to like John Williams. The mm. Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone score, and just because <laughs> oh, I, I, love I mean, but to anything John too, Williams, yeah. like John Williams, is incredible, man. He did Star Wars. He did. Did he do E. T. He did. I think music he, for E.T. he did a lot of Steven St- Steven of Spielberg, Spielberg shit. Stuff. Oh, he did all the yeah. Harry Potter movies, all the new mm-hmm. um, Fantastic Beast movies. Oh, so oh, and Alan Parsons project. Yes. Alan Parsons Project, bro. What's that? What's the album called? I Robot. Yeah, yeah. Yo, so. that album was some psychedelic seventies dope shit. For real, that y'all actually put me on. Mm-hmm. I heard of them, but y'all actually put me on. Them, like, I first heard their song, thing. but one of their songs was basically Michael Jordan's theme song. Yeah, I will, um, that that one's called um. Yeah, I forgot what it's called though. I will. Well, yeah, that was basically Michael Jordan's theme song. Anytime he came out in a movie or a show, the whole <laughs> album is magic. But you got, you got to like, you know. What I could say, if I was gonna tie it into this, my musical tastes were definitely partially crafted through watching skate tapes. For those mm. of y'all don't know skate tapes. Uh, skate, you put me on skateboarding gems. tapes, and um, yeah. Oh, back so you was on that on. Blink One Eighty Two. Well, I, no, actually, hip hop. Oh, hip hop and random instrumental mm. music. Like different, a lot of instrument, like white and other cultured instrumentalists mm. that are influenced by hip hop. Mm. So I used to listen to a lot of that stuff. Some people, there might be like a, a genre of trance. Right. It could be considered a, um, new age music, shit like that. But it's all just instrumental mm. music that's just like, it feels pretty pure and it's new. Right. A lot of that show, would show up in the different montages of these skate tapes. Because I was an avid skateboarder. like, And mm. I still fuck with skateboarding heavy, though. It's, it kept me out of trouble. Mm. And that's really what I was into. Um, growing up, so like I was the weird nigga rolling with the skateboard to school, right. and I'd be chilling with the thugs, and then back with the headbangers, right. and then back with the Jamaicans. Like I was right. all over the place, and right. and, so, the Lupe and people Fiasco looked at me out, crazy. And then oh, all of a sudden, over. and then yeah, all of a sudden, y'all niggas was cool. It was over. I was yeah. nah. We I, I still <laughs> wasn't cool because I was in I was in I was a senior in high school when Lupe came out, and it still wasn't cool. Mm. Not not in Miami, right. not in NMB. Oh, it was true. like right. some niggas respected it, right. but you would get <laughs> fucked with. I didn't get fucked with because I knew a lot of niggas. Mm-hmm. But my niggas, some of my skateboarder friends, they got fucked with when I wasn't around. Mm-hmm. Like they'd be like, "Oh, yo, they they took Israel board the other day. Mm-hmm. They split this nigga. I have to go talk to somebody. Like, yo, why you do that, man? You know, we just be out here just because I'm not there. It's like you my dog. Oh my bad. You know that type of shit. Mm-hmm. Like, 
But so I, I guess that plays right into, yo, that was a stereotype for me being a black kid. I wasn't in the hood, but you know, it was hood shit, hood adjacent. Mm. And we also, <laughs> and, 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 when they, <laughs> and when they were threatening to shut down Edison, everybody from the city came in too. So I got to interact with a lot of people from different places you know, that were still not that far away. And some of the closest homies that I got cool with that I gained a lot of great perspective from were from Miami Edison High School. Mm. And they learned perspectives from me. They were like, wait, hold up, you Jamaican? You like Harry Potter? Mm. You play the drums? You sing in choir? You skateboard? Word. And you're good at all of it? They were like, I used to be, you know... <laughs> Jack of all I trades. I used to be, you know, doing little things down the stairs so and crazy. shit, and it'd be nothing crazy. Mm. But, you know, that to be black in the late 90s, early 2000s, skateboarding before... You know, people like Pharrell, mm. Team Ice Cream, you know, and um, Lil Wayne making it popular for the urban community. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a lot of black kids on skateboards. It wasn't. Our, yeah. And our free park, you know, we, we didn't have free skate parks back then. So, um, but I'm not going to go off too far, but. What was huh? the name of that um that one black skater? Kareem Campbell. He had all the tats on him. Um, what was his name? Steve Williams. I think it was Rashad. Oh no, no, no! You thinking about um, um Anton from Dixon? Yeah, Anton Dixon from he's California. He's one of the beasts. He's still one of the. Word. <laughs> so his <laughs> take a breath. I, take a deep breath. I was, I was no, like, you don't even understand how incredible this bro, dude is. Bro, I heard he started and how pure he is. Bro, I heard his story. His older brother stole a skateboard. <laughs> oh, him? Okay, I've yeah, heard this yeah, story. Yeah, 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 I've heard this story. And gave it to him, and then he just started practicing on it, and lo and behold, he's, his, a, he's a professional Is he skateboard. the one who started DGK? No, that's Steve Williams. Oh, that's Steve Yo, Williams, okay. His entire face is tatted. I'm not his lying to you. Body is his entire body. Like, everything, but his face, too. His head, <laughs> his every fucking piece of skin on this nigga is tatted, dog. What's his name? Antoine Dixon. Uh, Anton Dixon. Anton Dixon. I, I might be saying it wrong now, man. My bad. I ain't yeah, watched I, one of his shits in a minute, but I feel he's like, one of the I feel greatest. like Dixon for sure is his last name. He's one of the greatest street skaters ever. He got so much style. Mm. that Because one thing about skateboarding is like, well, the reason why I gravitated towards that as like a creative, if you will, or weird nigga mm. around, you know, the block was that it, it was a way for me to express myself individually. Like I played basketball a little bit. I played football a little bit, but it wasn't really a good space for you to express yourself because mm. you have to follow a unit. Mm. But I played tennis. Mm. People look at me crazy because I played tennis and mm. I was on the tennis team in high school. Mm -hmm. um, and then I still go home to the block, <laughs> you know, yeah. shit like that. And then, um, or I would, um, or, or, but as far as skateboarding goes, it allowed me to individually express myself. Like your own style, the way you feel mm -hmm. your emotions, that shit goes into the way you swing your arms, mm -hmm. the way you bend your neck over when you about to ollie, when you about to bust a kickflip. And Anton Dixon is one of the cleanest skaters ever. And you could tell he's in his element because he's so smooth with it, man. Like we watching videos of this nigga right now, but no, no, you know, to word. skateboarding is a pure expression of you, of you mm -hmm. period. All of your emotion going to that, like the pain you have from not landing a trick. Mm. When you finally get that shit, you mm. see all that style in the nigga, in his body, in his mannerisms, mm. everything, the way he land. Because the way you learn to skate, everybody's, the way they learn to balance, mm. um, the way you balance in general when you walk is unique to you. Mm. So when you skate, you're going to look unique unless you're trying to emulate somebody else. Word. But if you, people like Anton Dixon, people like Kareem Campbell, who don't bend his knees when he ollie a fucking... 20 stairs so why, 20 yeah, stairs crazy. too much yeah. but like a 10 stair or 15 stair that cause I don't think he used to do them big stairs like that or a nigga like Stevie Williams who's known for his manual game mm. manuals are wheelies on skateboards mm. and, um, that shit's crazy and yeah it's crazy cause you kick flip to nose manual that's a front wheelie mm -hmm. to nolly flip to manual like Steve Williams do shit like that Word. and um if it was and these are Tony black Hawk, people I would from the what? hood and like if it was with Tony Hawk pro skater I would know nothing about you what wouldn't know about. nothing about oh him. Yeah. Yeah. if it was with him I wouldn't know nothing yeah about him. and <laughs> yo I started skateboarding from as long as I I think around this, like not long after I learned how to walk like G mm. shit I was on a skateboard <laughs> like, crazy. I'm exaggerating I learned how to skate when I was like three but Word. like that There's dedication I, I think that like that definitely you know you know made me look different Word. because they, they think like what you in the skateboarding they i was called a headbanger regularly mm. i was like the only rock i listen to is lincoln park and system of a down and they're influenced by hip-hop mm. <laughs> and um, and 
POD when they're out and shit. Like, you know, I, I got a couple wow. of it. Yeah. A couple other one. things. Yeah. Wow. But um, but these I were a lot still like, they were a Christian band. Yeah, exactly. No, no, I didn't. They were a Christian yeah. band. You knew that because of me too. Because of you too. Right, yeah. right. Like, oh, my mom will buy this because it's Christian. Right. But <laughs> they don't curse. Right. But they made, they made some fire, um, fire tunes though. Yeah. And so like, but as far as those skate tapes, I would go into credits mm. and what, because we ain't had Shazam and smartphones. Yeah. So I would watch the credits and that's how I found some of the best underground hip hop collectives known. Mm. Period. That's how I found out about Souls of Mischief. For the for the hip hop listeners out there, y'all know Souls oh, of course. Mischief and the hieroglyphics. Of crew. course. Mm. Del the Funky Homo Sapien. Y'all might know him as that nigga that was rapping on the first gorilla song, Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Uh, oh, but, by the way. Who happens cool. to be Ice Cube's cousin. One of the greatest the features in hip hop history. In hip hop history, mm. and it wasn't Easily. even on a hip hop song. That's what I'm saying. And um <laughs> and uh, so I say it that like great. skateboarding opened me up to another because I love music and I played music. I mm. was in the band when I was, you know, skateboarding and shit too. Word. I played guitar. I played piano. Word. It was a hip hop group. I like to make beats. I rap. Shout out to Bullet to Know. So, hey, hey, oh, yeah, hey. Shout hey. Out hey. Shout out Antonius the Great. Word. Oh, West shout Coast out Antonius the Great. Word. My boy, hey, man. He out there doing it on billboards, cuz, in movies. You Word. feel me? Okay, let me. It shows me. Shout out Big My Man Up, Sir Antonius the Great. Go check out all his web series. Or, hey, Artistic when I slide out there, I'm going to need a limo at the, at the airport and a, a sack mm-hmm. of that gas. Yeah, for real. You know what I mean? Hey, we just trying to go to one of these Hollywood parties one time. Word. Yeah, so I can <laughs> do some stand-up about it. <laughs> word, word. Nah, but yeah, back to it. Like, um, It allowed skateboarding in itself, allowed me to open up my musical taste mm. and discover what wasn't around. And that's what led me to not listening to the radio while I was in high school. So yeah. I was definitely, it was weird. I was like the most popular outcast ever. Word. And I, and, and True. I can say that now. I never would call myself popular. But yeah, you know, you you know. You, I mean, you, you so, did it already, though. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you yeah. who you be. And you yeah, be I was always who, who I was, you? and I was being who I was being. I would go back. I would go to L.A. <laughs> I know it doesn't know what I was doing. I would go to L.A., L.A. skate for the summer, <laughs> come back with some clean DVSs. Y'all don't know about that, DVS shoes. Um, I used to come back with some clean fat. S shoes. I used to come back with my... I even had some actions from Cream Campbell. Y'all don't even know about that one, boy. Hey, I barely hey. rock DCs. But shout out City Stars. City Stars. Hey, we got to get Creed Campbell on this podcast. I'm dead ass. You responded you to my tweet a couple years ago, my nigga. What's up? That's uh, an but, awesome feeling, isn't it? Yo. Not anymore, though. Fuck them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Damn. too old for it. No, fuck it up. I'm hey, just hey City, and speaking of Creed Campbell and City Stars, black skaters also paved the way for other amazing legendary <laughs> skaters. Mm-hmm. A lot of y'all know about Paul Rodriguez who don't skateboard. Mm-hmm. Paul Rodriguez is one of the most legendary street skaters ever. Mm. And Creed Campbell first signed him first when he was like 11. I feel like he told me that. And he was on the first City Star skate tape when he was legit. And um, so and and now Paul Rodriguez employs a lot of other skaters and other minority groups. Mm. And um, for his companies, word he had a book bag with ink case. Mm. He had a whole set like so. And all that was because you know, a dude like a black dude like Cream Campbell who did a you know. Uh, something that was against the grain for black people <laughs> mm. excelled and made ways for other people. Mm. I'm taking it there. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm see, taking it there, man. See, that's the whole reason, bro. <laughs> Come on, man, bro. Come on, man. bro. Drink some 100 water, plus bro. episodes and we coughing, nigga, like we rookies. First of all, we be smoking them cl- ass. <laughs> So, <laughs> but see, that's why that's why we having this whole conversation, dog. To, right. to, to <laughs> oh, there's to a stereotype. To, I'm supposed to have iron lungs because I'm Jamaican. I'm supposed to have See, iron huh? lungs because you and smoke here's cigarettes. A, and I'm another thing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so that's that's the whole reason we're having this conversation, right? Mm-hmm. To to kind of like show that 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 shouldn't even be there. Yeah, right. like that whole mm-hmm. stigma of like why you oh, know you do that. Oh, you do, you know what I'm <laughs> you saying? like that. You know what I'm saying? Like this should be avenues that we should explore, dog. Like right. even even when um even when you were talking about skateboarding, I remember this one this one rock group um name um. It's wow! I, ju- I just drew a blank, but they had a, a that black, sounds like a rock group. They had a drew black, a blank. <laughs> um, they had a black lead singer, Hootie and the Blowfish. No, <laughs> very I know not. What you're talking about very not Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> I know what you're talking and about a black rock band. He screamed. He screamed too. Um, I don't know about you. That. Told me about them. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and, yeah, damn. And the thing is, and, that shit. and the thing is, dog, like <laughs> with with, with Screamo and like, there's some there's some bands where there's their 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 lead singer they'll they'll go between screaming and singing, 
And there's some there's some bands where they'll have one nigga screaming and one nigga singing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I, I've heard that before. Where, <laughs> where Under Oath was like that. Like they had a lead singer that screamed mm-hmm. and the drummer sang. And they could sing good, bro. They got where, voices. Where, yeah. mm-hmm. where. But, <laughs> but this nigga did both, bro. Well. Damn. And his singing, his, his screaming didn't sound like sharp, like it was like melodic. Like it was annoying, yeah. Yeah, it was melodic, dog. And that shit was like, it's, their, their songs went hard, bro. Uh, Kill Switch Engage, yes. Kill Switch Engage. That's, that's a name. hell of a name. Wow, yeah. that's a dope name. I, rem- <laughs> I remember uh, first thing is like, wait, there's a black dude there. And then I listen to the music, I'm like, yo, this shit is Kill wicked. Kill Switch Engage. Yeah, I'm going to go listen to that shit after, like, after. There's another group <laughs> called Seven Dust. A black mm. lead singer in the band, Skin Dread. <laughs> That's a dope. Skin Dread? Or is it Skin Dread? Skin Dread. No. Or a reggae Skindred. metal. <laughs> mm. It says it's reggae metal. You might I'm, need to check that out. You understand? Know? Curious about that. But yeah, you know, these are all different Word. types of. Yo, shout out, my bad. Shout out to these black bodies in these spaces. Yeah. <clears throat> Great I way of say, say, saying that. Yeah. Inspiring other black bodies. Yeah, and and more so expiring other <laughs> black bodies <laughs> and black minds and black minds. and black thoughts, black minds on that black body to just be <laughs> themselves, like being a you know pure and true to who you are. I think that's what it is. The reason that we just happen to be into things that are different from the typical, you know, demographic, or mm-hmm. we we like to like we are interested in things that are different. From our demographic, typically, yeah. and we allowed ourselves to be ourselves. Cause imagine how many kids fought that, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm not supposed to, or that's, or one older cousin made fun of him one time, or you know, now random think shit. It's lame, man. Word, yeah. and they exactly. just leave. Like they used Much to draw like somebody men- made fun of him one time, and they just stopped doing that shit. Much like black male friendships, yeah, and the idea of what they should be. Hell yeah. You know, yep. in your in your typical black male friendship, what you know, we, every, we gotta say pause, mm-hmm. no homo. It's hilarious though. Just mm-hmm. be, when we want to show affection and love to each other, like I be telling you, I love you, my nigga. Yeah, I might of not course. see you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Love you, you more. Never know. Mm-hmm. All right, that feels gay. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, J. And there's what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Oh, no. Perfect proves example. Proves right. In it. You know, you know where I realized like um, the the. Like kind of where we are in terms of like how standoffish are we are is seeing uh-huh. Europeans because them niggas don't give a fuck. Yeah, they don't. Oh, yeah, yeah, they don't give a shit about it. We're like, come here, boy, Bro, <laughs> bro. bro. Yeah. word. They're, they're oh, going, but they only kiss you on the lip when they gonna kill you, right? Bro, they're damn near. <laughs> no, no, that's a gloss. <laughs> bro, like you watch like um, cause I watch it like you know English football and stuff. Mm-hmm. You see them niggas in the in the in the locker room. They got. Like speedo underwear on, vibing, yeah, close. Like they don't like you know on some. They're not even thinking about some shit. And we looking at like damn, that nigga kind of they that legs touch comfortable. They in their drawers and their legs touching, but they don't even think about that shit. <laughs> Them niggas kind of comfortable. Word, There's now, only way to put it. I'm not saying <coughs> we should go that far. Yeah, I don't want to see you drawers. I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't care about. It. I don't Word. care for that. Word. But as far as the camaraderie, I feel what you're saying. Word. You know what I'm saying and. Another thing is like shit you do. Like I remember, I remember, like we used to think certain activities were strictly for white boys. Like, oh, you mm-hmm. love doing white boy shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I remember the first time I had sushi. Mm-hmm. Some as minuscule as sushi. Where? Yeah. Went on a date with this girl or whatever. Come back tell, telling my niggas, oh, we you know we went to so and so and had sushi. I'm like sushi? When did you turn white? Or da da da. I'm like. What? Really? Like we can't have we can't there? do this shit. And you tell, you're, you're limiting yourself. That's what you're saying. Word, word. Niggas can't have sushi. Word. <laughs> there was a time where if you said you was going to brunch, people ask you if you're white. True. <laughs> and that was people. I'm and that's people. and that's when yeah. and that's you when brunch was cheap. I'll take it at you. Yeah. I'll Yo, leave. unlimited mimosas used to be ten dollars, my nigga. Word, bro. We might as well <laughs> Five for keep women. that <laughs> and, and afterwards. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> yeah. Um. What I was gonna say, I'm gonna take it even uh, even a step further, dog. Like, say a nigga say he want to dance ballet mm-hmm. or some shit. Automatically, you know what I'm saying? Automat- <laughs> yeah, off see, the rip. The file all yeah. back there laughing. Say, <laughs> even nigga, you, you want to dance ballet? Hey, 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 cuz. 
<laughs> yeah, I, nigga, I want to say, you know, I, I want to dance but you know ballet, crazy. bro. Nigga, you know them lines and shit, bro. Them lines, bro. <laughs> the elegance is in the lines, bro. But you know what's crazy? <laughs> you were skeptical when it was coming out of your mouth. When you were saying it, you yeah. like nigga want to that that proves nigga wanna dance that, ballet. But that proves <laughs> no, no, that first that, that first no, but no, 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 yeah, that, that's the point I'm making. Boy, there that are football furthers. players that do ballet, exactly yeah. help with balance, help with exactly. balance, exactly staying in bounds, catching yeah. the balls and everything. Oh, but your homeostasis. The, but that kind of shapes <laughs> the the industry too, to where like the movements are automatically. I don't know. I feel like I, I feel like I don't know if like. Boys in general uh-huh. felt like that's a, that was an avenue. Mm. I feel like they would do some dope shit with it. Oh they yeah, do. like sure. there's so, videos yeah. online. They, exactly, right. yeah, now, exactly. Um, which is ballet, great. gymnastics, mm. things that you know black boys don't usually. Oh yeah, do. I did mm. gymnastics. Like, too. and <laughs> I, I'm gonna take it a step further. Not to you know sound like a no fuck it. I don't care. I sound like it was a time where whites would keep us out of those sports because they knew we would dominate it. Oh, yeah. And they didn't want to get over, you know... There was a time. Oh, yeah. It's still... No, no. I mean, they can't keep us out now. You can go do whatever you want. You're allowed to. You can do whatever. But there was a time where they stopped us from doing certain Mm. things because they knew... But, you know... I I personally... I feel like the real reason was that they knew that how much better we would do. I think that could have been the opinion of some or many... The and majority, then others, it was just like maybe the, the the propaganda they were taught growing up that we were inferior. They really believed that. Mm. There's that, that too, too. also. Mm-hmm. But also. you know, I think yeah, that's that's also true. It's like oh shit. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> you know what they do now. Instead of blocking us, what they do, they just make up arbitrary sports. That's what's for them. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, there's a lot of white people shits that there sports. Is, Yo. There is. There's a t- like uh, I saw like one like curling, with a hat <laughs> curling. <laughs> World champion axe thrower. I saw I saw that him with a, a hacky sack and a small trampoline mm-hmm. where it bounces and you have to slap it down and it, you slap it on tra- down the trampoline and it bounces up and if the person don't catch it, that's a point. And it's four people around a small ass trampoline smacking a hacky sack back and forth. That's on literally a, a, a game. Fourth graders made up and they Man. made it to a sport. It's gentrification. They got Quidditch Broke leagues. niggas Word. did that. Word. They got saw, Quidditch leagues. I saw. <laughs> wow. I saw Therapy one play Quidditch. where like <laughs> niggas, like it was like an obstacle course. A nigga was like running around doing random chores. Like he would oh, run, so, he would chop an act, they run, and he would like screw, <laughs> he would screw in like a, a bunch. Screwdriver, yeah. yeah. And he'd go, and then like he would tie Saw a knot. Saw something in half. Is it like a fucking life size game of Bop It? Bro, it was wild, bro. <laughs> oh, Bop my It God. advanced. <laughs> Bop It Extreme <laughs> for white people. Extreme. And that's the and that's the same stigma. Stigma. That's the that same stigma they put on. Our, um, how they view black friendships and everything. Mm, absolutely. Ha- to them, black friendship is a game. But, or, yeah. or more <laughs> yeah. so, you get what more I'm saying? So, black, yeah, quotes, black. Mm-hmm. hard. Mm-hmm. You got to be hard. You got to be like, don't show no emotion. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you good means five you different. You You good means 20 different things. Hey, <laughs> hey. In Florida. <laughs> Dr- yeah. but, but hold on. Dramatic. <laughs> I want you to know that you just said some shit, bro. Oh, what did I say? Our friendship is a gang. Cause think about that's it, how man. they view black yeah. friendship. We're two, t- if we're two together and too much of a unit and uniformed on Word. things we do. Where they gang. say, Word, gang. they say, oh, you don't have a call, you don't unify for anything. So we, when we play by you, their rules, we unify. We 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 call we're under code name. Uh-huh. Example: Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Then all <laughs> of a sudden, that's say. Uh, a suspected terrorist organization. Mm-hmm. They said Absolutely. someone you know said Black Lives Matter is just as worse or worse. Tommy Lawrence. Than the Ta- Tommy, was it Tommy? Tommy, Tommy Lawrence. Tommy Lawrence said that. You mean Tamala Lawrence? That's mm-hmm. her name. There's a thing on Twitter where people say her name bad on purpose. <laughs> so <laughs> wrong on so purpose. they don't give it. Yeah, exactly. Got you, got so don't, oh, yeah, don't give it that energy. Oh, like um, karate. Yeah, like karate. <laughs> like karate. <laughs> yeah, karate like is Kawasaki. You weren't supposed to say it. You weren't supposed to say it. No, they have to know. Kawasaki. But they know. They know. They're hip. KitchenAid. They're hip to it. <laughs> or, oh, explain the joke. Ass Although nigga. Charlemagne did set that one off. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, I don't... I'm checking the sundial. I don't know. Calling the Klondike. Um, <laughs> 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 nah, but in all, so I guess to wrap it up about that <clears throat> black friendship conversation. Mm-hmm. 
Now it sounds spicy. I, I, no, 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 I do like want to say French. that. Like, but I, what, I have a couple of but thoughts what, on that. What, what it really is, to be technical, it, it's, it's black um, male fragility or, or fragility. 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 Of Explain the, Of how. the black male because, ego. Because, <laughs> all right, because of, there's two ways they, can't, um, they portrayed us. Uh-huh. Um, well, a couple ways. It's hypersexualized, yeah, mm-hmm. hyperviolent, mm-hmm. and um, and just yeah, pretty much yeah. Two, Those two, are two really great ones. Yeah, yeah. I, I two most to, typical ones. Oh, and um, oh, are the demean our our masculinity? Okay, that's right, another, right, 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 right. That's another Definitely one. Definitely agree on that one. So that's why there's this there's a huge <clears throat> that years of of that. You know what I'm saying? Having to question. Your, your 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 manhood, your work mm-hmm. ethic. That, it, that's the reason why, like we we a lot of us lack sleep. That creates a it, psychological crisis. Yeah, because <laughs> there's, there's, there's there's that thing where the black man is lazy and da da. So you you're 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 more hard on yourself internally mm-hmm. for just getting rest. Exactly. It, you know what I'm saying? Right. I can't rest. Like the team, no sleep team and all no that work. shit. Yeah, but I guess um you you're right about that. I always think black stallion, damn it. So <laughs> Flock <Wow. of> Zulu. <laughs> Slow down. Wow. Slow down. <laughs> I think it was your name in that group chat for the longest, man. Anyway, but, so <laughs> yeah. I have it on the back of a shirt, so I mean that too. Anyway. That group chat. <laughs> yeah, but, um uh, bringing it back in about, you know, black male friendships in general and the idea of, you know, or the general idea of what most of us feel they should be or what the what society or what media portrays them to be because we definitely follow the media you know what we see on tv yeah and whether you we, know it or what not. we emulate and then what we emulate is also what's around us so um i guess i have a couple words of advice don't be afraid to tell your niggas you love them unless you feel uncomfortable and icky because you're actually icky. How old? Are unless you? you're <laughs> mm. no, that's a real like. I, mm. I use icky because like icky's the only way that I could explain a certain <laughs> thing. You know, you just like ugh, like you shaking shit. Mm. But like maybe you're just not being honest with yourself about some shit when you feel that way. So um, don't be afraid Ooh. to tell your friends how you really feel. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You know, if you think of some, if you think of somebody randomly one day, mm-hmm. that's the spirit talking to you. Hit them up. Mm-hmm. Check them on, on them. If you have a piece of advice that you just feel compelled to tell somebody, or if you just want to tell somebody, yo, I love you, stay safe out there. Hey, mm-hmm. remember to be wise. Check on your people. You black. Yeah, absolutely. You got to be on point all the time. If anybody checking up on you know? us. Mm-hmm. So, you know, pass that on because it's going to be valuable information. That, uh, and, and not just that, don't be afraid to be genuine with your friends. And so, and check them too. And check them. Don't yeah. be, yeah, don't be a yes man, but don't, don't be, be a, a yes man. That's where don't be a hard ass. <laughs> without being disrespectful, y'all can where, listen to each other. And that's where we gotta check ourselves and be accountable, cause that's where a lot of the toxic shit comes from. You know what right. I'm saying? That pressure, that pressure to have sex, that that pressure to be hard. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's, right. it's from the niggas around you. It's gonna change. You know right. what I'm saying? So you got to be the change. You got to be able to I'm, I'm run this way. And you see it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You see it now. So, yeah, man. Yeah, you know what? Absolutely. Word. Yeah, that's a good... What's up? We're going to send it off with that, man. Uh, with be that. wise and don't be stupid. Word. And with mm-hmm. that, this is Flaka Zulu, a.k.a. Sir Black Star in the Third, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. Nicodemus, a.k.a. <laughs> no more a.k.a. Stop the violence. Boop, boop. Boop. We gotta stop. <laughs> Didn't we say we were gonna stop the, those That's a joke gunshots? It's ironic. I mean, the, the, it's it's more ce- ce- celebratory. Why can't I say Celebra- celebratory? Yeah, yeah you, had but, it, but, you know what I'm saying? Celebrationary. Cele- nah, exactly. It's, it's TPSG English. dictionary. It's or English. Celebrationary. Celebrationary. On a shirt. You guys extraduction? Uh, yes, this is yo, our, our extra yo, time for yo. We're extraditing. Yo, can we send it back <laughs> no, we're so not. we can start we the extraduction? We are again? not extraditing. We are not extraditing. <laughs> okay, I just had to get that out. We <laughs> are not extraditing. <laughs> Wacky inflatable arms lately. Word. It's your boy I seen Black, <laughs> aka Black Dynamite, aka Wade Bixby. I'm about to extraduce myself some more, aka Holy <laughs> Bucaroches, <laughs> aka be- Always Bet on Black, aka. Swiss army nigga, hey. Swiss army nigga, Swiss army nigga, 
Swiss Army nigga. Who's that nigga all beating the back? Word. That nigga came in like Ronald Isley, bro. Swiss Army nigga now. <laughs> <laughs> Swiss. <laughs> and it's your boy, Dramatic. <laughs> A.K.A. <laughs> Wavy, Wavy McGrady, A.K.A. Wavy Chappelle, A.K.A. Black Galifianakis, A.K.A. Yeah, what was that other one I came with? <laughs> that was Oswald Isley. <laughs> Oswald Isley. <laughs> Ronaldo Isley. Where he played a triangle. <laughs> A.K.A. Ronaldo Isley. Hey, hey. Mom, he played a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Ronald. <laughs> I'm your brother too! Ronaldo, my Word. bad. Not Ronald. I'm a brother. I'm an Isley. <laughs> Head you can't Isley. change that. <laughs> Mama ain't playing you. Who <laughs> can end the episode? <laughs> end it. End it now. End it now. Please. They should have never gave you niggas microphones. Okay.